Hey guys, I just received one of the most amazing uh, gifts. I've had a lot of gifts, guys, and, and I know people will say, well, this is the most amazing, most amazing. You know what? When the Lord gifts things, there's meaning behind them. And um, I went through a, an ordeal where I had to get rid of a lot of uh, premium Bibles. So if you're new to my channel, um, do know that when you see a lot of my Bibles, like over here, um, they're gifts that have been given, but some of them I've bought in over a four-year period. And um, I've given away a ton, guys. It, it, these Bibles get rotated out and stuff. But anyways, I gave away a, a whole bunch of really expensive Bibles that, I mean, they went out and blessed it a lot. Of, a lot of people got blessed by that. And so, I, you know, I, the, the Lord will take things that we learn and turn them into good. And here recently... I received a turquoise that you guys can see in my video. It's a Cambridge turquoise. This was a Bible um, that I I had a receipt to. Um, it was purchased for me. And I had the address and everything sent to me, and a forwarding address. And, and um, I had received a bunch of other Bibles from from that. And this one was one was, was like a, the second or third one, but I had received a whole bunch after that. But this one I had been sitting on. It was a receipt that I had, you know, it was sent to me in an email, it was purchased and paid for in full, and, and it was supposed to come to me when it released, because it was a release date Bible. And um, because of something that happened, uh, the person had that mailed to them, and that's, that's fine. They had it mailed to them, and that's perfectly fine. I, I've moved on from that, but in that, in that situation, I gave away um, many, many premium Bibles from that, from that person. And... So for my new uh, people that are here on the channel, um, I just want to explain the meanings of these Bibles. So the turquoise has meaning. When I, when I received this, this was closure because I prayed about letting go of all those premiums. And this was one that I was expecting to get and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but I had a feeling it wasn't going to come. And when it didn't, it was um, confirmation for me um, through prayer. And I was like, you know what? That's okay, because the Lord will bring this Bible to me. And out of nowhere, a couple months later, or a month and a half, whatever, I'm not sure about the timeline, but um, boom, somebody I barely even know gifts me a Cambridge Turquoise. You guys, it's, I can't explain how amazing that is, um, that the Lord would do such a thing. And it just, it's little confirmations that we get from Jesus that are amazing and, and um People have been really kind of hateful in comments that I've had to delete about, you know, begging for Bibles or something. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to me. When the Lord blesses somebody, um, I'm not begging for Bibles. I don't ask for people to send me Bibles ever. The only time I ask for a Bible to come to me is through publishers for reviews. And many people know that I don't have any of those Bibles. I honestly, I don't think I have any, like, publisher given Bibles, I've given them all away, so, like, you know, ESVs, you can look at all my ESV videos, those I don't have, and those were beautiful Bibles, um, I gave them away, uh, I think that when those ones come in like that, they're a very, uh, awesome thing for me to be able to share with people, and I wait upon the Lord and do that, and the Lord, I'm, what I'm saying is, is the Lord will, um, honor a giving heart, and, um, if you're, if you're giving in the right spirit, um, the Lord's going to honor that, and it will show. And He teaches us things through uh, giving and gifting. And I just want to say thank you to this brother that sent this new, um, well, it's actually one of the older editions of the NASB Allen um, R1 Navy Blue. It, this is one that I seen a long time ago, and they quit making them like this. And I was just, oh, they were so beautiful. And to get this one, it, it's different than the rest. And the one I had that was brown was a young blood like this. But young blood started changing um, kind of the way they did it because people uh, complained a little bit about how they did the corners on these ones. Like this is the Claritin. So it kind of, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit darker blue, but overall kind of the same. And you can see the difference that uh, young blood has done a little bit with their style on the outside, not much. But on the inside, they started doing the corners with 
the you know the pressing of the wrinkles that go around the corner here like Alan does them so you'll see there um, with this one they did the corners a little different where they just do the the snip and then they kind of sorry guys um, pinch the corner together which is fine I don't have an issue with it at all it's very cleanly executed I mean it's I mean you see how they pinch that that's nice, but a lot of people complain, and I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> it's nothing to complain about for me. I mean, it's neat to see the, you know, the the little lines in there, and yes, that's cool, but you know what? This Bible is amazing, guys. This, here's the weird thing, is when I got this Claritin, I was like, this thing, I love this Claritin, guys. I cannot recommend this one, but see, they changed it. Now they're doing it with uh, a different liner with the, the gilt line around the edge with this. But I think they changed the liner and I actually like this tough. It's a very tough, like a uh, top grain cowhide, I would think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's like a top grain cowhide. It's very strong. It makes the Bible soft on the outside, but yet it gives it a firmness that just, this thing is a tank. This is the best built Bible I have ever received on my channel. Hands down. This thing is, I cannot tell you how cleanly built this Bible is. It feels like a rebind from Ben's Bible. So if you've had a Ben's Bible Bible, this feels like a good Ben's um, binding. Full on. So it, it's amazing. Then getting this one, I told my wife, man, if I could just have a bigger one of these, that would be so amazing. And that's what this is, guys. Even though it's an NASB, it's not a King James, and I needed an NASB because I gave them all away. Um, I only have two little ones, you know, the, the cheapo, cheapo ones, which are a good text block, you know. I never knock low-cost Bibles, guys. That's what I can afford. I'm not rich at all. I'm very poor, guys, super poor. So don't think that I'm rich when you see all these Bibles. These are gifts from the Lord, and um, I have bought a lot of mid-core Bibles. So... Uh, do know that, and they've been given away. And that's why I love church Bible publishers, because they're so beautiful and low cost, and I'm able to buy those and gift them to people. It's, it's fun, it, and it's a blessing, guys. It, it, to give is just a wonderful thing. So I always tell people, um, if the Lord puts it upon your heart, give, give somebody an awesome Bible. It has three beautiful ribbons. Um, you know, I'm not doing <laughs> the greatest review of this, because I just got it. So I'm just super, just, you know, Bible geeking out here, guys. This thing, look at the grain, guys. It is just gorgeous. I have never seen grain like that. This is the most, I've had unique Bibles, but the grain pattern in this thing, look, it's just crazy. It doesn't even look real. You flip it over and you see, yeah, it is. It's, it's. It's got a cross grain, so you can see the river grain going up and down now on the back side here. The more, you know, you know, obvious skin textures, but when I first opened it and I seen this, I was like, what? I've never seen that. It's like a, like river rock, like, like a glacier has moved across the stone over all the years just carving into the stone. That looks beautiful. It just, I can't say enough about that. If you hear yelling, there's people moving in apartments and they're moving and they're screaming and yelling the kids at each other. So please excuse me for that. Um, you get a gold line that is guild line that is literally on the money. They did a really good job, um, Youngblood, on this. It's a very relaxed Bible. Now the liner is the same as that uh, Claritin, but it's a little bit thinner, just a hair, and it gives it, oh, it's just perfect. I, I can't even explain how perfect this liner is. And brother, thank you so much for sending this. This is like the gold standard of a premium Bible. I love Alan. Alan is like, for me, Alan is top dog in my book of Bibles, guys. They are just amazing. I've had Skylers. I've had Cambridge Bibles. I love my turquoise. And the reason I love the turquoise is it reminds me of an Alan Youngblood binding because it's from Youngblood. And Cambridge actually stepped up and you know, did some different things to that Bible and made it special. And um, they don't do yaps, you know, on Cambridge Bibles, but that yap is perfect for me. I, I don't, I don't, 
uh, not like that at all. <laughs> I love that Bible. That's my favorite Bible, guys. And, and this one is going on the list of my favorite other translations because I'm a King James um, most. But um, I do love the NASB. I love the New King James. And um, I just don't have... I have a nice New King James open Bible, but not a premium. I did have a Schuyler premium and um, an NKJV that I gave away. That was one of the nice ones that I gave away. And getting this is just... I can't tell you guys. It's so amazing when the Lord does things like this. So here's the introduction. Sorry, this video is so crummy guys it's just not a good review i might do like a quick hd for for normal people that don't want to hear eric rambling about his blessings and geeking out over everything but this paper is so soft it's so nice i've said it before i just i love the young blood prints you guys there is a difference so if you're wanting to save up for a premium do it okay just do it if it's something. Don't chase a premium like me. I chased premiums when I could have just saved up my money and bought one. I bought so many um, mid-range and you know, like church Bible publishers. But also don't feel like you don't have a good Bible. Um, there is nothing wrong with having a church publisher Bible. It is close to premium as you can get. But, you know, if you're wanting to do that, don't chase it. Don't, don't keep buying low-cost Bibles. Just get yourself the premium that you're wanting to get. Just save up your money. It has like a nice yellow kind of cream to the paper. So they did change these because the one I had was more glossy and a little bit thicker of paper. I like this better. I like the thinner um, quality papers. There's just something about a nice thin quality Bible paper. Um, you don't get a ton of ghosting from it. They're able to keep it thin but not horribly, you know, ghosty looking. A lot of five o'clock shadow. This is one of the, the coolest layouts for me because it's verse by verse. So for me being a King James guy, the NASB double column is just full on awesome. I, I cannot tell you how much of a blessing it is to come from the KJV for many, many years and being a King James onlyist and then being able to have a text in a new translation that you like that is verse by verse like this. It's wonderful. I love the larger column for the references. This is the, for me, this is the best um, reference layout for a Bible. I like it this way. And and the NASB does it right. Lockman does it right. My um, turquoise does the skinnier, the skinnier and smaller numbers. These are like a nice wide reference system here and it's so easy to read guys it's just amazing it's easy to find um the nasb text is such a good translation it's faithful it is um some people get kind of um don't like the sentence structure somewhat but that's just once in a while i'll run into something and i'll be like that's kind of weird why they word it that way and um also be aware that they're doing a new tran uh, update to this translation in 2020 I think they're going to go for another year. It was supposed to come out in 19, uh, 2019, and they moved it to 2020, which is good. That just tells you that they're they're um, they're really you know they're not pushing it, and they knew that people wanted it to come out, and they said you know what it's not ready, and they're going the extra mile. So I, I like that. I, I'm a video game kind of nut. I used to be more than I am now, and I I like it when video game companies delay a game and say hey it's not ready. Because that tells me that they're they're really working hard to bring you a good game. Same thing with with these Bible releases. Um, when they do translation like that, it, it, you don't want them to be rushed. So when they slow, you know, when something slows down like that, don't be bummed. That's a good thing. And that's the same thing like with Alan when they're bringing out different. You know, when you're saying, man, they're not they don't have an NASB right now. Just just wait. They'll bring you one and it'll be beautiful. Um, they really care about their products. Just look at that guy, it's just gorgeous. Um, I'm rambling. I've already lost a lot of people, but my longtime fans, they're still hanging here listening to me ramble. Uh, the concordance, beautiful. Man, that cream color is beautiful. I love the concordance in this Bible. Very, very nice. It's small, but it's readable. You can have small text as long as you space the words right and you have that text nice and crisp. And that is nice. I get lined paper. 
<laughs> Double column line paper. I didn't see this. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm totally. I'm so thankful, brothers. Anyway, sorry. That's so cool. I love it. I love these maps. Um, thanks, man. This is amazing. I'll do a better video, guys. I HD them quickie, quickie for people. <laughs> but uh, I love you guys. Just you know, praise them because this is this is uh, the Lord's blessing. And uh, for those that find that negative, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, I don't know if you're. You know, uh, what's wrong with you if you find that negative? Um, the Lord is good, and people um, get blessed through this. So there's a Bible going out here um, today or tomorrow that I just received and it's going to somebody guys so um do know that i'm not you know just hoarding bibles <laughs> you know the bible idolater you know what i mean look at that beautiful thing anyways guys i love you all god bless